I'm curious for you, how have you encountered imposter syndrome, if at all, and how have you navigated that throughout your own career? Yeah, uh, well, it still exists. It won't go away. Unfortunately, Nakia, you will have a long uh, battle with imposter syndrome because there's always going to be somebody who's uh, perceived to be either smarter or more experienced or, um, you know, just more polished. And in my case, I've been either the only uh, black person in the room or the youngest person in the room or the, you know, the most inexperienced person in the room. And when you're navigating your personal career trajectory and you're trying to figure out, okay, what is my next step? You know, where do I go? How do I get to the next level? You're going to run into situations that make you question, you know, if, you are good enough to be where you are, or if you are going to, um, you know, have a long standing career doing what you think you want to do. Um, As far as the way I've navigated is, I I think the first thing is to, to recognize it, right. It's some, a a lot of, um, there was a lot of time before imposter syndrome was a term that I just, I was going through and didn't know what it was. I didn't know how to articulate it. You know, I, I kind of felt it, but, you know, and I was at a conference and somebody said, and was like, oh, that's what that is. <laughs> that's what I've been feeling all those years. Yeah. Uh, but, but really for me, it's just um, assessing what I know I, you know, uh, I can do well, you know, knowing myself uh, and knowing where I want to go. Uh, and I think to combat imposter syndrome, it's really just studying and knowing your craft. You know, whatever that is, if you're a software engineer, you know, try to be the best software engineer you can be, you know, study, you know, know, know what you think you should know. And when those situations come up where you don't know, it's OK to not know and find the an answer. That's what most people do anyway. So uh, for me, that was the first thing. OK, just get good. Uh, and second thing is for those people who you put on a pedestal, talk to them. And you'll realize that they have the same challenges that you have and they feel the same way that you do. Uh, That'll give you a lot more confidence going in because um, there was a one, there was this one guy, he was what I consider the epitome of sales engineers. You know, he was always, you know, always had a good answer. You know, customers liked him. You know, he was really smooth and, you know, seemed to have it all together. And one day I was talking to him and I was asking him, I was like, so what is it that you do that I could do to make me more like you? And he was like, I was going to ask you the same thing. (laughs) So, Gotcha. (laughs) He was going through a lot of the same issues that I was and, you know, looking at me to, you know, take some tips and and tools from. And I, I just think that just goes to show that. Even the people who you think have it all together are still trying to figure it out. And in IT specifically, it's all about trial and error. Uh, problem solving is not a you know direct linear path. You know you kind of go up and down and around about in order to get to the resolution sometimes. But if you can find those people that you can lean on and you know know that hey, if you need help, you can get help, and you don't have to have all the answers. I think that'll go a long way in combating that imposter syndrome. 